Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom coloring maps for any city, state, province, country, or just a little neighborhood that you choose. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. We're going to use Mapbox Studio. You can create an account for free. And once you've created your account and signed in, let's go to studio.mapbox.com, click on New Style, and you can pick the style of base map that you like. We're going to use the monochrome, and we'll use the light style. We can see that right there. Just a nice kind of gray scale. Perfect for printing on your black and white printer. Now let's customize the monochrome. And on this next screen, we are now going to search for a location that we want to have a monochrome map of that we can print out. And like I said, you can do this for a very general area, a broad area, like I want to do maybe all of New England, or a very small specific neighborhood, like the area around Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. So I'm not just doing Boston, I'm doing just the neighborhood around Fenway Park. You can see right there, I can zoom in right around the park. Now I can zoom out if I wanna have a little bit more area, but I can zoom in just to that level there. And we can see the road names here. Now over here on the left-hand side, we can customize the map a little bit more. We can have house numbers turned on or off. We can have 3D buildings turned on or off. Underground turned on or off, depending upon whether or not that area has a subway system. Now we can adjust our land, water, and skies, our natural features. We can have labels turned on or turned off over there on the left-hand side. Turn the road networks on or off, the transit networks on or off as well. Now, when I'm happy with all of my selections over here, I can just go and print it out. And we'll see right here, that's the area that I'm going to have there. There's my dimensions. I can customize that if I happen to have a printer that can accommodate paper that's larger than a standard eight and a half by 11. Well, I can go ahead and change that over there on the width and height dimensions. You can change the resolution which you might want to do, again, depending upon your printer and how much ink you want to use or how much toner you want to use up. And let's go ahead and export that. And we'll see there, I have 100 exports remaining, now 99 exports remaining in my free account. And now I have that image that I can just print out on my computer. Now you notice over there, I chose a format of PNG. You can also do a format of JPEG. Either one will work just fine for printing these out. So that's how you can create your custom coloring maps for any neighborhood, city, state, province, or country. As always, more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.